granite staters gather in a circle, locking hands to mourn those killed and reflect on the horror that took place in Orlando, Florida. This is insurmountable grief that touches us all in so many different ways and it has such a ripple effect. I think that we have, we sort of have this so false sense of security that, that everyone is accepted. 50 were killed and more than 50 others injured in the deadliest mass shooting in United States history. Tonight, thoughts are with the victims who were gunned down. Any loss of innocent life is horrific. You know, whether it's, you know, at an elementary school, whether it's at a nightclub, it's just, you know, it's, it's really a call to action. I feel like that we are just becoming so desensitized by all these uh, random acts of violence out there. One by one, about 20 people shared their thoughts and prayers at a vigil outside the State House. Organizer Kay Mason is a transgender woman and says the shooting hits home. The gunman opened fire at Pulse, an Orlando nightclub popular in the gay community. This really stings. It's Pride weekend. There's a lot of people just celebrating happiness and their freedoms um, as Americans. They just want to live their lives in happiness and peace and just be who they are. President Obama calls the massacre an act of terror and hate. Those in the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community are keeping positive, saying the evil which took place inside the nightclub can never be outweighed by love, a bond that can never be broken. The more we educate and the more that we stamp out this ignorance, the better the community is going to be, the safer it's going to be for everyone out there. People tonight say that they really want to see this country take a positive step forward and to show compassion for others regardless of their beliefs. Reporting live in Concord, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.